Hey audience, today we're going to be looking at one of the weirdest and craziest persons from history, Roman von Ungern Sternberg. Assuming you read the title, you know he was a Russian general, but his story actually starts in 1886, in Graz, Austria, where he was born to a noble family who soon moved to rival Estonia, which was a part of Russia at the time. His parents ended up divorcing, so he went to live with his mom at the- Oh boy guys, it's another name I can't pronounce. Hoynigenigen Huen Estate at Jurawakant. Now, as a kid, he began to develop sociopathic tendencies, and it was like that one kid that even the bullies were afraid of. He was also known to torture animals, and in fact strangled his cousin's owl to death. As he started to get older, he began to develop a special hate for poor people, and would boast about how he had never taken an order from a working class person. He also started to develop a sense of Russian nationalism, despite the fact that he was German. I guess he liked Adidas. From 1900 to 1902, he went into a boarding school, but he got kicked out after two years for doing stuff ranging from smoking in bed to constantly fighting other cadets. After getting kicked out, he joined the military and went to fight in the Russo-Japanese War. Then when he got there, he basically saw no fighting as the war ended before he could do much. But while he was there, he began to develop an admiration for Japanese and Asian culture. God, he was the original weeaboo. So because of this new fascination of Asian culture, he began to study Buddhism. Meanwhile, back in Estonia, a peasant revolt burnt down his family's estate. Thus, this fueled his belief that peasants are stupid, and it's their fault for not being happy while living in poverty. I swear I've heard this from someone before. So, Ungern went on to join a Cossack regiment after that. They were stationed on Lake Baikal in Siberia, and lived a nomadic life doing border patrols against Chinese smugglers. This sort of fueled Ungern's Asia boner even more, which caused him to practice a militaristic version of Buddhism. You know, the religion which is about living in harmony with nature, and like being peaceful and loving. He also began to heavily drink, and take drugs like he's Keith Richards. Now I guess it's a bit much for his superiors, so they finally kicked him out. So when World War I started, he went to fight on the Eastern Front. Now maybe due to the fact that he was both insane and drunk most of the time, he became known for doing suicidal horseback charges into German machine gun emplacements. You'd think that would be certain death. But I guess the sight of a drunken, insane Russian man charging straight at you kind of caused the German soldiers to shit themselves and were cheap when they caught sight of him. He ended up getting the cross of St. George for his efforts. Once the Russian Civil War broke out, he ended up going back to Mongolia to recruit men to fight for the white forces. So long story short, he recruits a ragtag army of Mongolian warriors, Chinese merchants, Japanese armed dealers, etc. Some of his first actions were raiding Soviet armed depots and the like. He began to consolidate power in the region and called himself Baron. He welcomed all religions and people, except for Jews. He gained such a reputation that the Dalai Lama said he was the god of war reborn. With Mongolia firmly under his control, Ungern believed he was going to restore the Mongolian Empire. He also wanted to put the Tsar back on the throne in Russia, despite the fact that the Tsar was dead. Unfortunately for him, the Reds ended up winning the Russian Civil War and then came back to finish him off. Ungern's genius plan was then to cross the Gobi Desert with no supplies to reach Tibet. His supporters began to realize that maybe this guy's a little nuts and left. This is a load of barnacles. I heard that! The Reds promptly captured him and shot him. Thanks to patron Emerson Salmero Rubio. Also, check out my Twitter and Discord. Links all in the description.